In today's video, we're gonna to be touring this new manufactured home right here. We are at Middletown Homes. Let me give you a quick scan. They've got several modular homes and they also sell manufactured homes as well. And then single wides and everything like that. So they've got a little bit of everything. This house is called the Seneca. And I just stepped in it for the very first time. And wow, the floor plan the floor plan is cool, but really what wowed me is this walk-in pantry. It is, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, it's, it is pantry dance worthy. Let me just go ahead. It's coming. I mean, there's just, there's just no, no way to get around it. I'm ready. I hope you are. And it's not like, uh, it's a wraparound. So it's not like there's a door though. So it's, it's very, it's very nice. I think you're going to enjoy it. Plus the main bath is super sweet. I wanted to walk back here and show you. We have a water faucet there. I believe we have a side door over there, but that looks a little, a little snaky. Yeah. A little, mm. yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let your imagination take over right there. Let's head back around and go ahead and get inside. Well, we got the sun hitting this though. Give you a good close up shot of this vinyl. You could definitely do some customization on these homes. This is my second time here, Middletown Homes. This is at their Fairmont, West Virginia location. They have a total of four different locations in West Virginia. I'm hoping maybe while I'm up here, I'm gonna run into Oliver Anthony. It was kind of one of my things on my to-do list. <laughs> he ain't from West Virginia, is he? I just said that because of his song. which that's Virginia. So maybe he's from Virginia. So I'm just, I'm just west of him. Hey, wait a minute. Look at this, let me, I gotta run. There we go, yes. We do have a door there, okay. Yeah, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoy these tours and subscribe. I would really appreciate you doing that. Y'all gotta share as well. Share this video with someone. Put it on social media. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And man, I just hope this tour makes it just a little bit better. Here we go. Okay, I was telling you, this is a special one. And I know what she was thinking. He says that about every tour. And I I say it a lot. I'll, I'll level with you. But I only tour stuff that's special. So, you know, hey. That's one way to look at it. But look at this as soon as you walk in. I mean, look at this view. Take that in. Let's go ahead and start out with the dining area. What do y'all think about this wall right here that kind of keeps it split off? What do you kind of have mixed emotions about it? Huge dining spot. There's you a little bit of a shot of the living room. Now, I'm pretty confident this is probably some type of su support that you've got to have right here. So I'm sure there's got to be something here. Yeah, that's a long stretch if you don't have that. Uh, but we've got a electrical outlet there, but I love it is what I'm trying to get around to is I love how it's positioned. It really breaks everything up. I mean, you still have got that open floor plan but this right here just adds a little touch of separation in between everything. All of our bedrooms are down that way, so let's stay down here and let's look at our kitchen next. I'm trying not to get the pantry. In the <laughs> okay, I'll give you a little. There's a little look. There's a little look. I, I just don't. I don't want y'all not looking at the kitchen because all you're thinking about is the walk-in pantry, you know. Here we have the Springer faucet. We 
we've got all this here, your drain rack, all this stuff in here inside. What do you think about the color of these cabinets? It's not a gray, but it's not like a green. It's like a grayish green. Exactly what color that is. I like it with these silver, silver pools. We got Whirlpool appliances, got the gas stove. Got our bin hood here, got some lights under there. I like that, you just come up here and hit the light. Some really nice backsplash. Oh my goodness, at all the outlets. We've got one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. <laughs> all throughout, we've got them on the kitchen island. Let's go ahead and look at the utility room. It's on around here. I'm not gonna go. <laughs> this is the, so look, this is the pantry. Let's, let's get real. This is the pantry. There's no door or anything. You walk in there, that's it. It's just those cabinets. This one doesn't have any racks, but you could put a lot of stuff in there. It ends right there. This wall is directly, <laughs> okay. I said I was getting serious. All right, serious now, serious, here we go. I can't be serious, let's go. pastry mm, I could I don't need one of them right now sure wouldn't be able to tour houses I'd be ready to take a nap look at the room in here double stuff goodness gracious me and Cullen find ourselves meeting each other in the pantry almost three or four times a day that's why I recently hit the 200 pound mark <laughs> Okay, but yeah, look, we have the cabinets drawer here. A little spot there, What you know, put you a microwave. Is that what you'd want to put right there? There you go. Okay. Here is going to be the side door that we looked at. Great to walk in, hang your coat. Got some lockers here, and I love, I've already told you, I love this color, but it looks great with these white tops that you have that we had on the kitchen island or, yeah, the kitchen island. Just looks fantastic. We walk into the utility room. We have, let's see if I can get you a light going. There we go. We got washer and dryer. Got us a nice window. What's this gonna be? Gonna be water heater. Fantastic. This is a fantastic house. Now we're going to get into the living room finally. And this house isn't just extremely, extremely big, so it's great size for a smaller family. What is it? Okay. Alternate floor plans. Hey, check this out. 1,600 square foot, 1,700. Look at that. Got a retreat. 1,400, 1,500. We come into the first bedroom of the tour. We got the baseboard, crown molding throughout this house, all the bedrooms, living rooms, living room, everything. There's your closet. I'm speed up this section a little bit for you. Come out, let's go ahead and hit this room just real quick.
Okay. We've got this huge closet. I seen this earlier. This is a very nice storage closet or linens, whatever you want to put in here. A great area to have. No wasted space in this home or furnaces behind there. Here's a bath. We have another bath in there with the main bedroom and it has a huge tile shower. This one has the huge shower tub combo. I actually seen this in a main bath uh, home earlier. So it's great to see here in this second bath. Gets you a nice medicine cabinet. As you can tell, the mirror is not installed there, but square sinks. Come into the main bedroom. Is this the closet? Yes, it is. Let's see if I can get y'all a light on. There we go. Two closets, maybe, perhaps. What a vanity area. Look, they took this, this whole length. You've got cabinets galore and you got drawers down here, drawers on the other side, cabinets above, perfect setup. Obviously your mirrors aren't in here as well, but yeah, his and her sinks set up wonderfully. I see this right here. I imagine you probably have some shelves that you can put in here, um, top and bottom, or if you wanna leave them out like that for decor, you could do that. And then we've got the massive walk-in tile shower I was telling you about. We got this cut glass here. These are some mega-sized pieces of tile, as you can tell. We have the wand. We have the shower head positioned here. A lot of detail in this one. You can do some customization in these bathrooms. Y'all keep that in mind. I do like how you have this positioned right here at the end. So you can reach in, turn it on, let it begin warm. I mean, y'all ain't got that automatically hot water, do you? Like, uh, it takes a, it takes a good twenty seconds at my house. I mean, you know, unless y'all taking cold showers, which I have done. But uh, let's just say that was a short-lived. Yeah, I was watching all stuff online, talking about talking about taking cold showers and stuff, and I did it for a little while. It's hard. It's hard to stick with, I'll be honest with you. Okay, enough of that. Let's uh, get into some information on this home. Um, I hope y'all had a good time watching. I know I got a little carried away here and there, but I have such a wonderful time showing y'all these homes and and then just the, the amazing things that you see in a manufactured home. I mean, how many site-built houses have you been in this month that have pantries like that? I want to know. Uh, kitchens like this. I mean, honestly, this house is beautiful. So y'all drop a comment. Don't forget to share, please. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. Now let's get into that more information. There you have it, around 1,700 square feet right here on this particular three bed, two bath manufactured home. So I was thinking about it when I was editing. I know a lot of y'all ask about difference between manufactured and modular. So this is considered a HUD home, basically. It stays on the frame, it's set up. Uh, on the frame and then a modular home. You have on frame and off frame modular, but I'm gonna to refer to off frame, which is what most modulars there at um, Middletown will sell. Basically, they'll take the house off of the frame with a crane and set it on a foundation. So your benefits there, a lot of your finance, you know, the fin financing and stuff like that. And with modular homes, they have to build, they have to be built to that certain state code. Um, a part of me wants to say the, you know, the 
appreciation is a little better than a typical typically manufactured home but in the past few years everything's kind of appreciated so um i don't want to get too in depth too in depth and all that but that's kind of your main differences uh with a manufactured home like this your build quality still can be really great so this house kind of has it all and it's going to come in at a lot uh, lower price point one reason and i'll be done here is it costs a lot to set up those modular homes you think about it you got to have a crane you've got to you have to do a lot more things than with a manufactured home that's brought in two sections it's set up and you know not to not not to make it sound like it's an easy job but you know that that's it so Middletown Home has four different locations. Y'all check them out if you're over in the West Virginia area. They're gonna cover their region there and you can check them out online as well. I'll have our website link in the description, members area link, second channel link, and some stuff in there for you. But you can check them out online if you would like to. It's Middle, Middletown Homes wb.com uh, but yeah this is the seneca let's get into estimated retail pricing after i tell you the videos come out tuesday thursday and saturday night 6 45 central time and we have uh something special coming next okay you'll see you'll see there's a house actually uh, you'll see it next week just just stay tuned okay uh let's get into the estimated pricing now I'm gonna pop up some screenshots I got from their website for you as far as pricing. And the reason why is because they kind of have it laid out really well to explain what all that includes. So first off, let's show you that price point and then I'll show you what that includes right now. All right, so right there, that'll show you the pricing on this home now. What is that included? They explain that very well right here. We'll pop this up for you. There you go. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I got for you here in this tour. If you want to check out another home, um, I did a lot more at their location that are on the channel, and I've got some more on the way as well. Uh, but I meant to say, I went there a couple years ago, and I did a lot of homes there as well, so you have to scroll back a little bit. But you can find you can find them on the channel. I will see you on the next tour. Hope everyone you have just a wonderful weekend and uh, spend some time with your family and start getting ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus, which is coming real soon. I'll see you on the next tour. See you.